Hi, I'm Dr. Asta Dayal and I'm the lead consultant gynecologist at CK Birla Hospital in Gurgaon and I have my own clinic in DLF phase 1 in Gurgaon. Today we'll be discussing about how much blood you lose during your period. When you get your period, it's not just the blood that you're losing, but there is also some tissue from the lining of the uterus which is shed along with the blood. and there are some secretions from the cervix which are the mucus secretions which also come out with your period bleeding most women usually bleed up to 30 to 60 ml in a period we say that you're having heavy bleeding if you're bleeding more than 80 ml in your period if you're using menstrual cups they generally have markings showing 30 ml or 60 ml Whenever you are emptying the menstrual cup you could see the marking and see the amount of blood you've lost in the menstrual cup. Actually speaking only about 30 to 40% of your uh, total discharge is bleeding. The rest of it is the endometrial tissue, the cervical mucus, blood clots and other uh, secretions. A regular sized sanitary pad could hold up to 5 ml and if it is large it could hold up to 10 ml of blood similar to a tampon a, a regular tampon can hold up to 5 ml and a bigger one can hold up to 10 ml of blood All women have different perception about their period However, if you are changing pads on a regular basis or if you are having blood clots on your pad in your period, you could be having heavy blood flow in your period and this could be because of different reasons. They could be fibroids, ovarian cysts, some hormonal imbalance which needs to be detected. So you must visit your gynecologist and get it investigated. Sometimes there is no reason found but in all those cases as well we prescribe some medication to reduce the period flow. Usually 4 to 5 pads on your heavy day of period is the maximum that we allow. Sometimes uh, women change their pads too often if they're half soaked so we have to take into account the total amount of bleeding rather than the number of pads that you've changed. Period blood is not pure blood it also includes some endometrial tissue cervical mucus and it is not hygienic and uh, it could be uh, having some infections so it's obviously not fit for donation Women start having their uh, periods around the age of 13 and they can bleed up till the age of menopause between 45 to 50 years So an average woman has up to about 400 periods in their lifetime and in each period on an average there is about a 40 ml of blood loss. As you age there are increased chances of diseases like fibroids, endometriosis, adenomyosis which could make your periods a little heavier than usual. If you have other issues like PCOS it could lead to a lighter period. So keeping all these aside the periods generally stay more or less the same they start fading at the age of menop- uh, perimenopause so from the age of 45 women start getting less frequent periods which are smaller in amount Ideally you should be changing your pad every 4 hours even if you're not bleeding heavily this is because blood is a good medium for infection to grow and if there's moisture in that area and blood there could be some uh, bacterial uh, build up happening so it is important to keep changing your pads even if it is not fully soaked women sometimes ignore the amount of bleeding they're having in their periods If you are having heavy flow it could cause enough blood loss to reduce your hemoglobin levels and that is the time that you must visit your doctor and get it checked and get it treated
you should always use public washrooms carefully public washrooms can be a source of infections uh, and they can cause utis and other kinds of infections as well like fungal infections so uh, in periods you have to be extra cautious because you are a little more prone to catching infections and uh, if you use it properly uh, by maintaining good hygiene you could try squatting instead of sitting completely on the commode and always clean yourself front to back uh, dry yourself before wearing your uh, pads and undergarments and maintain good hygiene uh, you can safely use public washrooms with all these precautions